Good morning and welcome back to the fourth of our Advent Together Reflections. I wonder if you have put your Christmas tree up yet? We did a few days ago and that may seem a little early to some, uh, but we needed a little bit of Christmas spirit and joy in our house and we know of people who put them up even earlier. It happens every year, doesn't it? As November turns to December, we get the boxes out of the loft full of Christmas trees and baubles and tinsel and lights. Uh, and if you're anything like us, uh, a nativity scene or two. It's been happening uh, for centuries. In fact, the first time that people started to hang things on a tree dates back to the 16th century. But why do we do it? And what connection does it have to our Christian faith? Well, trees are a really important symbol uh, in the Bible, going right back to the beginning, to Genesis. And that's where we pick up our Bible reading this, morning, this afternoon. It's Genesis 3, 6 to 7 and 22 to 23. It says, The woman saw how beautiful the tree was and how good its fruit would be to eat. And she thought how wonderful it would be to become wise. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to her husband, and he also ate it. As soon as they had eaten it, they were given understanding and realised that they were naked. So they sewed fig leaves together and covered themselves. Then the Lord God said, Now the man has become like one of us, and has knowledge of what is good and what is bad. He must not be allowed to take fruit from the tree that gives life, eat it and live forever. So the Lord God sent them out of the Garden of Eden and made them cultivate the soil from which they had been formed. That's perhaps a familiar story to you and it's perhaps one of the saddest stories in the whole of the Bible. God had created the most wonderful world for us to live in birds sang, the sun shone and flowers bloomed. It was a place where God and humans could live together. There was just one rule. Don't eat the fruit of the tree in the middle of the garden, God said. But Adam and Eve decided not to trust God and they ate of that fruit. And because of that, he couldn't trust them to live in his garden anymore and sent them away. Ever since, people haven't been able to live with God in quite the same perfect way that Adam and Eve had been able to enjoy. But God had a plan to change everything. The Bible tells us about a new city God is building with another tree in the middle. You can find that in Revelation chapter 22 if you're interested. And it's a place where his people can live together with God again. That other tree makes it possible for us to be with God in the way God intended. A tree that got chopped down and made into a cross. A cross that Jesus was nailed to when he took the punishment for the wrong things we have done. Jesus died and rose again so that we could all live with him. There's a beautiful story called the story of the three trees, which shows that with wonderful imagery. You might want to find it and read it together this Advent season. But for now, something for you to talk about either now uh, or later. And that is, how can you help one another to stop doing unhelpful and unkind things? And what do you think would be amazing about living with God in the way God intended? How can you help one another to stop doing unhelpful and unkind things? And what do you think it would be like to live with God? Let's pray. 
Jesus, I'm sorry for messing up sometimes. Thank you for paying the price for me on the cross. Thank you for making it possible for me to know you. I'm excited about living with you one day in heaven. Amen. Today we're going to draw a picture of an apple to hang on our Jesse tree to remind us of the fruit that God asked us not to eat in Genesis chapter 2. See you tomorrow.